I'm excited. I just got my car cover and my sunscreen. And I also forgot that I'll also be test fitting my Doriketsu, which is drift wheels. I just got to figure out which size uh, fits the best. I think one is plus 40, one is plus 38, and one's plus 36. All right, so Erica's uh, actually coming back early today, which is awesome. Uh, so I'm going to hold off on some of the repairs and things I was going to do to the car, but I am going to unbox the uh, car cover and at least the sunscreen. <laughs> So that took like a second to install. So I opened the cover crap box for the uh, car cover. Looks pretty awesome. I'm not gonna install it, like I said, I'm just gonna um, wait, because I have to do like a manifold gasket, um, diff fluid, and uh, wiring harness for one of the turn signals. So I'll do all that uh, one day. But right now I'm going to take out the Dorikatsu and transfer it to my car. Today I'm going to take the Sylvia to the auto hobby shop and um, change out the diff fluid, um, test out some different tires, 17s with um, different fitments, uh, more so for circuit and uh, drifting. Um, 18s are just a little bit large for that, for me right now. And um, if I have time, maybe I'll change out the gasket that goes from uh, the manifold to the turbo.
Yeah, yeah those, they have like a 140 tread wear. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be like, put them in the car, drive to the track, put them on, and then definitely take them off before you drove home. Yeah. Which is cool for circuit. Look at the kind of those of weight guys too. For circuit? Yeah. Front and rear? But you don't have to really change the rotor. Nothing to change the pad. Out. There we go. Take the pad off. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's just. Will numero uno. Does it fit? Woo! I love that, right? No, it clears. Oh yeah. Like money. That's not bad. That looks small as shit though. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not bad. Alright, so this is a plus 40, right? That would be bad. It's like plus 35 or something. It's a 17 by 9 and a half. Oh, it hits. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Right. No, it hits. Look at the, oh, the space. Yeah. All right, so maybe the rear. <laughs> that sucks. Just wrapped up the front. We got two possibles uh, for fitting. One 17 by nine, one 17 by maybe eight and a half. Uh, so I'm gonna check out the rear now. So Dre just walked in. Dre's one of the guys that works here at the Auto Hobby Shop and uh, brought in a wheel that he had sitting in his locker and it's a uh, GTR 34 wheel which fits on the front like really well. He only has two though so I'm in a bind. I need to think about which two I want to put in the front and then which two I want to put in the rear. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I have these uh, 15 mil spacers just to kind of mock up uh, on the hub to see if the the Volk will fit any better um, because if it fits any better I may run a Volk wheel on the front and the GTR wheel the 34 on the rear um, I can run multiple different tire sizes so I'm gonna check it out all right so I got the spacer put on I'm gonna test fit the wheel Why two are missing? Yeah. <laughs> I put a bunch of saline. Never even heard of that shit before. Exactly. <laughs> All right, here goes the rear. That works. So in the end, we have two wheels that fit for uh, drifting and circuit racing. 
GCR wheel. And a volt. Although with these on the front, I'd have to run a 15 mil spacer. But if it's just for track use, I think that'd be okay. Now to the diff. Diff fluid change. if you can tell or not but it's pretty good no metallic no hint of metallic anything in there so it's nice you can definitely tell it needs to be changed so I got busy talking I didn't uh, film the diff fluid fill up but I used um, Wacos 8140 And uh, put the wheels back on as you can see. I'm just gonna torque them back down to the specs. Finish up this video with um, installing the custom car craft uh, car cover and um, see how easy it is. That's a wrap.